Okay, so I decided I just went ahead. I'm not going to use any more clips on this particular one since I haven't already used them or I didn't use them on the back end. I just used them on these seams here, which you could take. Let me show you. You have this wire that um, that comes with uh, it, it actually hold, it's wrapped around the roll of wire along with all this paper and plastic and stuff but so you have this wire so if you wanted to didn't have clips or for whatever reason just wanted to do it different you could use this wire either you know wrap it all the way around or tie it individually or sew it so it wrap it through there would be the best probably you know say like you would take and go over and then down back through go to the next one go over and down back through and you could seam it together like that and it would hold it pretty good it's green you wouldn't see it really have a nice appearance if that's what you're shooting for but um, so other than my two seams I'm going to avoid and it, my seams go all the way down I'm going to uh, avoid using the J clips not because I don't have them just because I want to show you an alternative way to put this thing together it really does look nice but let me tell you what it's going to take a lot more time but some of us have the time to do that some of us don't some of us can only use the uh, wire ties for everything I've been there too so anyway so here's uh here's this seam here so this one's really going to take a lot of time that little bitty piece is going to take a lot of time but so I'm going to do this all seam together to the bottom next I'll be pulling this tight and doing the same thing here and here's another thing to show you this fence is just how it's how it's made but it has a tendency to to go up but it stretches so much you can just stretch it right out so I'll show you whenever it's complete and uh, I won't show you on that side there because that side is just a mirror image of this side. So uh, all I have left is this, finish this side up, do that side, the little piece up there, and the door. Then I'll make a new door latch, a flip kind that flips up and down. I'll show you how to do that if you want. You can probably buy one online. And then I will mount that latch that came with it down to the bottom that way it's a secure latch down where predators are apt to go in and out or try to get in so this i have we always have on our other ones up there every pin we have we have the latch and then we'll have a snap hook that goes in it so it can't be jarred up at night it's just uh for our own um benefit to uh so we can sleep better at night knowing nothing can get in there or it's also to be honest it's and Luann and I have discussed this before whenever you clip that second clip then in your head you know you're not in there watching TV in the middle of the night and uh, oh my god I forgot to shut that or I think I forgot to shut that or latch it because when you put a double latch on it you know you've latched it anyway so that's it so I'll show you after I get this side done um, and including the top and the bottom and the bottom is done just like I did the bottom rail over there I'll just put at every four inches put a loop of wire and twist it and that does just fine alrighty alright so doing it this way you know sewing it back back to itself okay Here's a little something I do with zip ties to hold it in place. I already told you 
how the bottom it has a tendency to climb up and it was like up to here okay <clears throat> but it stretches really well so first I pulled this over and I put one down here on the bottom around this piece to hold it in place and stuck one up on the top um, to help hold it in place and then I came through and uh, put three zip ties down there so it kind of holds it straight for me and still it's not incredibly tight but it has a good appearance other than it got a little wrinkle there but anyway so this one is wrapped around this wire and was put to hold it in place um, I think I actually put this one on first and then put this second anyway but what I want to point out is so I have I have just a, a couple of them holding this wire and then this wire was gapped way out here it was pretty tight it'll make it easier for you to weave this in here and to know where to cut it just pull it in you know it's loose each one of these are loose uh, that's holding this over um, they're not attached to this wire to this panel so same with up here they just hold it over for you and then when I'm done I'll remove the zip ties and it'll all be sewn together just like that seam and like the other corners so that's how I'm going to accomplish that that's my way you might have a better way if you do put it in the comments Okay, I just wanted to show you as doing this side the same as or the right side the same as the left side just mirror image started with the door got that part all the way down so the top's not done just a wire tie holding in place a little wire tie holding my my uh, netting in place. I just wanted to show you real quick a little technique that I'm using that makes this a little easier. See, I just take those needle nose and pull them together, and then you can pull it out. Then you can grab it with your needle nose, and the rest of the work is them. Do it again. Hey, this is kind of a tight and tricky part, so I'll go ahead and show it. Just to show you how it goes. Yeah, two pliers, whoops. I get a double wrap on it, I'm happy. It banged you up, didn't it? <laughs> Back to the old turn determination thing. <sighs> One thing I know a lot, but a lot of you that may be watching this have farms, or you at least got chickens. You may be a homesteader, but I'm sure you had confront determination. How to make that thing steady. But at some point in your life, you had to be determined 
at some point in your life maybe you wasn't when you should have been of course there's many points in your life you had no choice and life took you down but doing a little simple thing like this just shows you what determination can get you is this necessary uh -uh, not at all was necessary tedious and difficult as it seems no matter what size your fingers are you can always grab a hold of a pair of needle nose pliers and a trusty leatherman always helps all right now the right side is completed right looking at it I guess technically it would be its left side anyway so the right side is completed got my wire down at the bottom twist it up tight enough but not too tight if it's too tight then it bows this door in on right here in the middle and it, and it, it has I've already checked it bowed it in slightly but not bad it was a pretty tight fit over there anyway so bottom pretty easy that you see uh, that was seamed up first I just looped it back around on itself that was pretty easy the top was last that was a little tough way down to the bottom you can see that seam goes in and out a little bit but whatever it took to get it tight and then if you look right down the sides you can see those stripes match up pretty good so it has a nice appearance you can see the bars bowed in a little bit that means that the screen is tight or the netting is tight but not over tight So all that's left on the main frame is this little piece right there and then the door and then the latches. The one latch if you remember I'm going to make it and I'll show you how to do that out of a piece of aluminum. So that's that and then we'll get to putting that on top. Alright the last and final part. Of the actual structure and all I have left is the door the last part is all I got left is that little triangle I'll use a scrap you can see it right down there so here's how the seams look to do is tie those down which ought to be pretty nice there's my wires for that see if that, one that there's progress all right there's the completed uh, structure frame of the unit and right here on the top I did put little J clips there you could use wire I didn't want to do that but since I'm using an end piece I didn't have little things to tie with unless I wanted to take the time to cut those and I didn't do that so anyway so J clips but they're not really that noticeable and so there's the front everything except the door and the latch all right now we have all of the chicken wire coated chicken wire on including the door I'll um, I had to 
I don't have the latches on there. I'm getting ready to do that. I just put a zip tie because the wind's blowing from that direction and wanting to close it. So I just want to show you. So I put I put a brace going across the center. So it's not really center. It's high center. But anyway, I put a brace going across there. I just put a couple of rivets in it. And um, that way it keeps you from, because it's pretty tight. The door's pretty tight. It keeps you from uh, bowing the door inward. You, you can already see it's got a little bit of a more of a gap here than it does down here because of the combination of the two things. Um, anyway, so you just simply kind of sew. I did put some J clips on the top and bottom. It was faster and easier. You, I could have woven them, but I didn't. But I wove everything else. see the corners uh, I just kind of tied them in however it took to make it fit tight so the top is all done a few J clips down there everything's nice and tight not over tight but nice and tight I don't know if you can see the the lines line up pretty good. They're bowed in. These bars are really, really weak. You know, you're, you're not going to do chin-ups on them. But, uh, and some of them were kind of bent up too. When they came. You can see it's off center on the second one down there. Anyway, so. Other than the latch, which I'm going to go make right now. And then I'll put the other one on the bottom. That is a completed unit. Then I'll put a 12 by 20 tarp on it. And that'll come down just barely past the corners on the short wall sides. And uh, makes a pretty good chicken pen. And then put your, I'll put my chicken house on the outside. So I'll have to cut a little hole for that and then secure it so nothing can slip in through that hole. So here's where we're at so far. And now on to the latch. All right, back to our build. This is actually the finished product. I want to highlight something first, and that's the latch that came on this system. You can you can see here. I'm going to shut the door real quickly. You can see where the rivets were for one part of the latch and the other latch that I removed. And it's because this is the latch here that came with it and because of the wire I have to bring it out anyway and we've decided that I made a uh, different latch myself based on our standard dog kennel latch uh, and we're going to put this latch at the bottom this to secure the bottom of the door and then we'll put this latch uh, on the top. Um, also, so this is a two inch piece of flat aluminum. And uh, so I basically cut out this design uh, using my angle grinder and also a Dremel tool with a metal cut wheel on it. And then whenever I bent this, you could see, if you look carefully, it started stressing. So I stopped and just bent the ends where it was important. Doesn't look that great, but I'm going to use it. Um, it took about an hour to come up with this. I don't think it would be that long to make this one. Anyway, but so on this one, uh, after I get it cut out, I'm going to uh, use a torch and heat it up. And then bend it, you know, soften the aluminum and see if I can keep from having those those stress cracks. I don't know if it'll show up, but it was it was about to go. But that'll work like it is. Now I just have to drill a hole and then I'll have to put a, a stop, which I'll put another pin or something, a cotter pin on the uh, on the the frame side and uh, so it doesn't fall all the way down. 
And that's what I'm going to do now. Be sure to put this with the, the side rails going up. If you put it down, then you can't really open it all the way. If you put it up, then it opens up enough that you can put it in. I <clears throat> just want to point if you go this route. Go. All right, now I'm just going to build a little stopper. I'll put a, drill a hole and put another pin so that it creates a stopper so it doesn't fall like that. The wire is probably going to hold it in place. I could have went back a little bit more on that, but I didn't, and it'll be fine like that. You'll just have to figure that out. In your own situation, let's drill a hole here. We'll put a powder pin in there to prevent that last from going down any further. Just as simple as that. You know, this isn't the prettiest bar, but as a bar that I had, a piece of conduit or something I had, and it braces that center so that I can have a nice tight door and it doesn't bow, bow it in. Otherwise, you tend to get great big large gaps and I'm afraid something could crawl through it. So I'm just using some, I'm gonna use some number eight uh, by three quarters inch screws to uh, mount this secondary latch, which is what is the latch that, that came up here. First, I'll mount this, this part. And we'll mount that right on top of that wire. 
so that it's free and clear. Okay. That screw head, here it goes. Now, this one has, uh, I don't know what it's for, but it has a feature you slide it back and it saves them twice. But there's not really a benefit here. Might be for mounting it, huh? Will be customized. There you go. All right, that's a good secure pin. Okay, here's my latches in place. I just used a cotter pin for that one. Let me show you this first. So this one, I just, I did it the best I could, but this really needs a little bit tighter of a gap. Like that. So I kind of did it like that. I might have to work with it. Anyway, it's a secondary latch. So then this latch, I just use a cotter pin there and a cotter pin to make it stop. And you see too, you kind of have to lift it a little bit, but you could round that off a little bit more right there. But it's close enough. I'm not screwing with it. So anyway, this is the... Final result, pin is ready.